Hey y'all, it's All of Destiny, and in today's video, we'll be going from that to this. And then we're gonna go from this right here to a whole lot of that right there. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Yes, just time lift, money and pretty women. Highness and fits, that's all I'm kidding. Yes, just time lift. Hey y'all, it's All of Destiny. So this is what my natural nails look like. I have not touched them yet. We're going to do the prep and everything on camera together. I was wearing press-on nails prior to this. I think I probably removed those about three days before filming this video. Taking the pumice drill bit to just kind of start in that cuticle area. Occasionally you will see me go back and forth between the drill and my manual tool. So this is a pumice stone nail file. It's basically like a cuticle pusher. I'm using that to basically push back the cuticles so that we don't have any lifting. I'm gonna swap out my sanding band for a new one and all of these bits are by McCart. Some of them came with the nail drill. I've mixed them up now so I don't know what's what. Uh, but the holographic ones are definitely the McCart bits. So just using that sanding band on a low setting to remove the shine from the nails. Since I was wearing press-ons previously, I don't have much shine to my nails, but I want to like really make sure uh, for the acrylic application. Following up with this nail brush to remove the fouling dust. If I was going to sculpt my nails, which is where you put the little form underneath, I wouldn't have had to trim them because they're not in the way. Uh, but for nail tips, I like for my nails to be trimmed down. I have not used nail tips in a very long time. But when I was first learning to do acrylic nails, a little over 10 years ago, this stuff just piled up on me and I still have them. So I was able to kind of size them all out. So for sizing the nail tip, I like to make sure that it fits side to side. I match the number that's on the back and then I line them up in a row. Yeah, so I'm going to take this nail glue, apply a little bit of that glue into the well section of the nail and then I'm going to angle that onto my nail until it's like all the way glued on. Hold it for about 10 seconds. If you have any spillage of the nail glue, you can definitely either file that off once it dries or before it dries, you can just take a lint-free cloth and wipe it right away. Repeat that process until all of the nail tips are glued on. All of the nail tips are applied. This is what they look like. And I'm going to trim them down to size using this nail clipper. And I kind of angle my fingers to where all of them are straight and the same length so that I can make sure I'm doing an even cut. This is what the before and after looks like. So the nail shape for today is going to be coffin. So I need to taper these in a little bit. Girl, I thought I could do it with these scissors. They ain't working. So I'm gonna just use this nail clipper instead. It's kind of at an angle, but it's straight. So I go in a little bit with that. Don't take off too much because you can't put it back. You're gonna do the rest with the nail file. You can go in with your drill after that if you want to. Just be mindful that the drill is a little bit more aggressive and you don't want to turn it into a stiletto unless you want a stiletto. This is how I get my nails perfectly straight along the end. I kind of just hold that foul straight up and down oh and as far as my clear hand wrist that y'all love so much it's just an old candle jar lid <laughs> and you can definitely purchase nail tips that are already in the desired shape that you would like i more so sculpt my nails over using nail tips so that wouldn't really be a nail purchase that would make sense for me here's a quick reminder of the before and this is after fouling is done time for the acrylic nails application so i'm taking this acrylic masking liquid you're supposed to be able to add a few drops of this in with the acrylic liquid and then it's supposed to make your space not smell like a nail salon yes. oh! i got a few drops to come out but it still smell like the nail salon when i was done but it is what it is we're doing our nails at home we don't care <laughs> crack a window or something today i'm using the super nail acrylic liquid in combination with the rose acrylic powder by Mia Secret and I'm going to also take the Mia Secret dehydrator. I'm going to apply two coats of that to the natural nails. We don't really need this on the nail tips. Allow each coat to dry in between and then we're going to follow up with the CND acid free nail primer. I think I did one to two coats of this as well and allow it to dry. None of this needs to be applied to the tip because it's artificial. So dipping the brush into the acrylic liquid and then kind of wiping off that excess and I kind of just pat and pull into the acrylic powder. I hadn't done my nails probably in over two months so I have to warm back up to what the consistency of these products are. It's best to use matching formulas so where you see me using super nail liquid but Mia Secret powder. For a beginner try to make sure that they match and then once you master the consistency of your products. Don't be letting people be like, oh, try this, try that, switch it up, try this. If you master that consistency and it's working for you, 
if it ain't broke don't fix it so with this specific nail I'm placing that first bead where the nail tip and my natural nail meet just kind of overlap that for the pinky we did it all with one ball I'm trying to just kind of get a feel for it again you me personally I like to go little by little with picking up the acrylic I'm more of like a three ball kind of girl so one towards the center where it overlaps applying that second one near the cuticle area and then the third one towards the tip of the nail so that it's not weak there and it won't break so finishing that that's what we have and I'm going to repeat that process until all of my nails are done I am left-handed so I start off by doing my right hand first so yeah and this nail brush is the Panna Kalinsky size number eight I believe I'm gonna link it in the description box down below so for this one, I did need to go ahead and fill in a little bit of the space towards that cuticle area. I didn't want the nail to look like I already been wearing it for two weeks. So try to get as close as you can to the cuticle. And I didn't show this step on camera, but after using that Mia Secret Rose, the pink they were using, each one of these nails was covered with the Beauty Secrets Clear Acrylic Powder on top. So after filing my nails, I go ahead and I wash my hands very well. I use this nail brush and some soap and water to kind of just scrub away at them. I hadn't buffed my nails yet for some reason I don't know I like to buff my nails underneath running water it's just kind of satisfying to me and I feel like it's removing the nail dust while buffing at the same time girl I don't even know if that's a thing that's just how I do it <laughs> now it's time for the fun part designing the nails a couple of months ago I ordered this hollow nail powder from Amazon so inside you get the powder and then you also get three of the little applicators I think for the price that this is a very good amount of chrome powder I chose silver and then also we have some instructions in here so I'm going to start off by taking this hot pink uh, gel polish by Beatles I also got this from Amazon I don't know why I had that extra brush because this one is already a nail art brush so first we're going to take the hot pink by Beatles and I'm going to outline the design that I want and then I'm going to use the rest of the brush to kind of fill that in. This isn't really too overly thought out. I knew I just wanted it to kind of swirl a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that nail for two minutes underneath the UV lamp. Then I'm taking the Nail Attic No Wipe Top Coat. And I'm going to use a small striper brush just to apply that right on top of where I did that hot pink. Hopefully I'm not making any mistakes, girl. This is what that looks like. I cured that for about 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, this is the fun part. Now we're about to get into the chrome. So I'm going to dip into that, kind of tap off the excess just a little bit. And then I'm going to kind of go in circular motions. Wait, I see it. Oh, we got chrome. Oh my God, we got chrome, y'all. So I'm massaging in circular motions. And it's giving chrome effect. It's giving don't play with me. Oh my God, look at my nail. Wait a minute. So I'm going to use this old makeup brush that I'm not using just to kind of brush off the excess. Oh, oh my God, God that's so pretty. Good. And I love it. I got my first chrome nail. All right, let's try these. So I also ordered the McCart Sculpting Gel, girl. But first, before we use that, I got to make sure my chrome don't go nowhere. I'm going to apply that Nail Addict Top Coat. Cure that for two minutes. Now we're about to go in with the McCart Sculpting Gel. So I saw some people squeeze it straight from the tube. I was like, nah, 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 it's my first time. I gotta tread lightly. <laughs> so I went ahead and just put that onto my little plate. And using this small brush, I'm going to outline the chrome with this 3D gel. Cure that underneath my nail lamp for about 10 seconds. And then I took that same chrome and massaged it on top of the 3D. And look at my 3D chrome nail. Oh! Y'all, I like this. Like, I just did this by myself. What? Me? I mean, I know I could do my nails, but I had never did chrome. I had never did 3D chrome. I'm impressed. We, wait, 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 wait. Run it back. We got to try this again. We got one nail done. Let's see if I can do two. Starting off with that Nail Attic No Wipe Gel Top Coat. Outlining that and then filling it in. To speed the process along, let's try to do two nails at one time. All right, so I cured it for 10 seconds. Guess now we're going to smudge on that chrome powder. Dust away that excess. And then we're going to take the Nail Attic No Wipe Top Coat so that we can make sure our chrome is locked in. Now we're going to take the McCart 3D Sculpting Gel and outline our chrome design. So I decided to use the nail brush first 
For some reason, this time, I felt like it was going flat on me. I don't know if it's because the nail was probably still a bit warm. So I decided to wipe that away just using a cloth. I hadn't cured it yet, so it just comes right off. Then I was like, let me see if I could actually do it, squeezing it from the tube. And it was working, girl. Just squeeze it kind of lightly and kind of guide it along to outline that design, curing it for about 15 more seconds. Or here's me counting live, actually. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. And boom. Dip it to the chrome and apply that right on top of the 3D. But make sure you cover these with a clear coat on top of your chrome. So let's discuss the elephant in the room. Me having this random pink nail on my pointing finger and the rest of these are silver. In real time, when I was doing my nails, I couldn't see the pink. I was like, well, that's a waste of a step. But now that I'm looking at my nails, I can actually see the pink. So I regret that I didn't keep going. Another option, I probably could have tried my chrome right on top of that pink. I wasn't thinking it all the way through. Like I was thinking, but I wasn't really thinking anyway. So I am probably going to order more nail products and redo my nails next week. I know chrome has been around for a while and I've had chrome nails before. Shout out to my girl nails by Shona, but I've never done my own chrome nails like at home. So I'm excited to order more products, different colors, and to keep on doing chrome nails because I'm obsessed especially with the way my thumb turned out so some of my nails individually I like better than others but the thing that I love about being able to do your own nails at home is that's experience that you get that's practice that you get on yourself and with me investing in more products I can continue to practice with my chrome until I get better at it I think my nails turned out very well for this being my first time doing chrome I love the results so things that I learned doing my own chrome nails the first time you all can kind of see there's a little bit of shimmer where I didn't want it to be outside of the chrome I would have to find a better way to dust off the excess to where it doesn't bleed into the rest of the nail As far as the 3d sculpting gel, I would say that it was very easy to use um, I guess I'll consider myself a, a beginner when it came to that because I've never used 3d sculpting gel So I would have to find a better way to cover my 3d chrome to where there is not any um, pullage along the rest of the nail if that makes sense but that's at no fault to any of the brand of the products that I use today doing 3d chrome and using 3d gel for the first time those are different techniques that I would have to master for myself but overall I love the way that my nails turned out some people would just remove their nails completely just because of little mistakes that they dislike but if y'all not new here then y'all know like that's how you learn by just doing it. And this is my first time doing chrome, so we're only going to get better the more that I do it. I think I'm going to wear these for a few days just to appreciate my time and effort put into them. Uh, but I'm going to eventually swap it to pink for Valentine's Day. Hey y'all, it's Olive Destiny. So today is Monday, February the 5th. Um, I'm getting ready to head out. I've got a lot done this morning. So we got some computer work done this morning. Emails, all of that. I got some laundry going on right now. I don't have much going on today. So I'm getting ready to head out to go and get a pedicure. I don't know if I'm going to do that as a TikTok video or if I'm going to film it over here for YouTube. So stay tuned for that either way, wherever I'm going to put it. Just a little lease it from Walmart. Um, it's not a new purchase though, so it's probably not in stock currently i need to add going through this pile of mail to my to-do list today the pants are kind of wide you know how they like to do all the stuff to your legs so i can pull them up girl not my white socks with black shoes <laughs> well you can't see it so uh since the pants are long trouser like pants i did put it on with my uh oversized puma shoes i need to get another color of these i like these shoes they're cute to me so yeah it lifts the pants off the ground and then this is just like a cropped loose type of top don't feel like swapping my purse so i'm carrying the same one from yesterday we gotta head out uh because i'm meeting somebody there they're probably gonna get there before me what else do i need my other phone in case i do it for tiktok because sometimes this camera is kind of i don't know whenever i get pedicures they're like oh no 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 filming they'd be like don't film me so <laughs> which i never get their face or anything but i guess when you see a camera pointing towards you you think that it's on you but i just be trying to get my feet so another option is just asking which i'll do that sometimes too if i like show my youtube channel or something they'll probably really be like oh whoa no <laughs> or they'll just do their absolute best i need a jacket though because who told me to leave without it uh the only other thing i want to do today let's go with this one um, I'm gonna swing by Target because we're gonna do the linen closet and the bathroom and like um, just reorganize it a little bit. So I got some bins that I ordered from Amazon. Amazon is a bit more pricey than what I like. 
uh, some of the containers, I pay like $27 for them. And for me needing a lot, I did see that Target had some for like eight and 10 bucks and they're a larger size. So we're gonna stop by and grab some of those. I just wanna have more than enough bins. That way once I get started and I hype myself up for this, I don't gotta stop. My new tripod is in one of them boxes. I should have opened it now, but I wanna film a proper little situation. So we'll wait, let's go. Called ahead and rented it out. It's just a pedicure. Uh, yes, just a pedicure. Right there is the menu. Do you know which one you're gonna get today? Um, the ham has the glass signature as well. Anything yeah. to drink for you? Uh, well, let me show them that before. So we're at Glouse Nail Bar, and if you stay in Memphis, it's in Crosstown. Um, the parking is free if you want to park in the garage. It's like two hours free. The pedicure only took like an hour, so I didn't have to pay for parking. And then the pedicure, I chose the Gloss Signature. Originally, I was going to go with 719 Tutti Fruity. They were out of that one, so I went with 721 Princess Cupcake, which I absolutely love the way this one is going to turn out. My toes were originally red, as you saw, so I've just been kind of branching out and playing in different colors again. If you're not new to my pedicure videos, then you know I went through my phase of being super obsessed with white. Um, I'm probably still super obsessed with white, but in the winter, I feel like my toes are not out as much unless I'm wearing heels or something. I feel like it's the perfect season to kind of play in a few colors, and who knows? I may warm up to color and end up doing this all the way into the summer. But yeah, I love the hot stones. I love the massage. I just love sitting back, relaxing. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy saving the money when I do my pedicures at home, but sitting back, relaxing, and allowing yourself to be taken care of is such an amazing feeling. And I like treating myself to pedicures. It's one of my top favorite things to treat myself to. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop talking so much since I already have throughout the entire nail process. Let me know if y'all want like a nails video where I just don't say anything at all because I know some people like for the steps to be explained, but yeah. The pink that I got is so pretty for Valentine's Day, like so pretty. I gotta redo my nails now. So I'm gonna try to find a, a pink chrome on Amazon and redo my nails in a few days whenever it gets here. I'm so happy I stepped out of my comfort zone. Like I'm such a white nails or a white toes kind of girl. I love the pink, like stepping out of my comfort zone, especially in the winter. I feel like your toes not out a lot. Like you can look at them at home or if you wear heels or something, but I'm easing into playing into more colors. And then also when I had the red, the red pedicure with the matching red, um, press on nails I like that look like it looks so heavy your nails done obviously that's just classy anyway but not saying like if you don't get them done you're not classy but having a matching set like red nails red toes type of thing like having them both done but they're not the same color it's like ah, okay that's cute but when they match top tier <laughs> so I'm gonna swap this out or I could probably kind of incorporate some pink somehow I'm gonna end up swapping this anyway um at the time I ordered silver chrome because I was just thinking like okay silver so I'm gonna try to order a few shades I'm gonna get more than a few I ain't gonna say a few shades of pink I'm gonna get different color variations of chrome and try to come as close as I can to the color that I'm wearing I'm gonna just talk to y'all when I can never mind look what I just came home to Ladies, it's pink tonight. made it home y'all when I say I am so tired and so ready to go to bed um I'm gonna show y'all my pedicure and all of that in the morning <laughs> I am about to shower remake my bed I think I'm gonna spin my sheets again because I know they just been laying in there probably well if they're not wrinkled if not I'm gonna just I'm gonna make the bed and probably steam it in the morning if they are today was a good day so yeah I spent a little time with my family I stopped to see them uh I think the last I talked to y'all was when I had left uh my lunch date so yeah, it was. And then I talked to y'all a little bit in the car. So we got everything done that we wanted to get done. My mama was telling me something about Target and not shopping there and some more stuff. So I got to look into that. But we didn't get the bins because I was like, oh, okay. So we're going to go to Walmart and get them instead. 
I gotta start watching the news and keeping up more so I know these kinds of things. But I'm finna go to bed because I'm tired and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Miffy, what they do that? Girl, I'm just saying. I don't know why you playing. Cause you know why I blow all this money like a fan. 